Now, one, one sort of problem with this game is because all your items have abilities you can learn, you kind of want to hold on to as much as possible until you have your whole party. And so you can go, okay, who needs to learn yeah. what? And then once they've they've learned it, like we're we'll, we'll be fine selling those. Uh, we have to go back to that grotto, so not the grotto actually, but the swamp right in front of us. There it is, where we found Quinna. Like we'll, we'll be fine selling the thunder gloves simply because the only two people who equip those are Steiner and Freya, and since we have two, we have more than two pairs. We can sell the third pair and be fine, but. Most of the other equipment is shared between the other six characters. So it's like, okay, who the fuck? Who can equip? Ah, uh, fuck, everybody can equip this. I guess we gotta wait. Oh, um, go back? Oh, this is just, like, stuff. It's actually where we need to go, but just not yet. So go back and go through that central portal path. Damn. Whatever. Yeah, I know. Gotta get Quinna. Hey weirdo, we're back. Yeah. So when I came here earlier, I had her I had Quinna eat as many frogs as possible, and now that I've done that, you can see there's two adult frogs and then two adolescent frogs and a tadpole. <laughs> so it takes a while for a marsh to repopulate. Man, and I, the queue are just really devastating to a. They are, yeah. <laughs> um, I think you can go south again. So back toward the entrance. Oh wait. Ah oh, shit. Oh, it's fine. Go back. Um, yeah, go back. back. Take that right path. So you need Quinna on your party, because Quinna smells frogs, and it goes <laughs> barreling forward. And breaks through a chain that is preventing you from going into this entrance. <laughs> That's cool. There must be frogs all over this marsh, though. So the frog minigame is one of the few things in this game I've never actually taken the time to do. Like, I just, I don't care about having Quinnit in my party, and so I don't give a shit about getting them to eat 99 frogs. Also, eating frogs is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. That and defeating Osmos. I've almost done it. I'm pretty sure once I got it to within 10,000 health, and then if Steiner had like five more MP, he could use Shock one more time and dealt the final 9,999. But he didn't. Oh, shit. And before I could use anything on him, I died. I'm like, well, <laughs> no. I'm fine. I'm fine not fighting this particular boss. Not doing that again. I'm, I might have to just go ahead and do it, finally. Fossilru! Look at that screaming shield over there. I hope there's not like some spook chariot in there. Oh well, I'll just keep going. <laughs> Someone equipped the scream shield. <laughs> I think it's radical. Look though. at this Judas Priest to help him coming at you. You've got to be kidding! No <laughs> shit. <laughs> like that's exactly what you think. You're like, I've seen some stuff, yeah. but are you kidding me? That Crash Bandicoot skills to use. <laughs> just running the other way on his I hog. wish it was just straight up a Crash Bandicoot yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah. Like just Viewing him yeah. from behind. Or in front, and then that thing's behind you. Oh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, no, go around. I won't let me. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Yeah, take that, asshole. But you didn't see that hole coming. Yeah. If it catches up to you, I think you have to fight it, but... I don't know if you can actually kill it. Also, I believe you can go all the way back and find something in the little crevice that it was in beforehand, mm -hmm. but I might be wrong. So this is literally the only time we're going to find <laughs> encounter this woman. Listen carefully, princess. You guys will never see me again. So this doesn't really matter. 
They put a whole lot of work into my character model. It's almost as if a last hour rewrite got rid of me. But they couldn't get rid of this part. So this whole bit's gonna feel incongruent, you see? You're gonna get to the end of the game and wonder, what happened to Lani? What happened to Lani? She seemed like she was going somewhere, but then I went nowhere. Stubborn fools, don't you know? Fan forums don't exist yet. <laughs> So no one will be writing about me, making fan theories about what happened to me, about how I'm the real threat, because if you think about it... There's nothing, like, funnier than a character who is supposed to be like, you know, I'm the new real threat, and then you just never see him again. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just keep blowing her up. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, that's right, auto potion. He's gonna use free energies to see. Yeah. I don't think we've seen that since the very start of the game. Oh, oh there we go. You're pretty good as she's fucking full of fork marks and <laughs> burnt and partially on fire and frozen. What a drag. Guess I'll disappear forever. Like, the way she's set up, you think she's gonna be, like, Reno. But no. She just waited till she got out of earshot, then she just started crying. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> Always just... Thinking he can ride shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what's going on. You gotta get that food, Zidane. No, it's easy. You give something dinner and then you can ride it all you want. Zidane, what? <laughs> you wanna get some dinner later? Uh, no. <laughs> this is just the music and yeah, everything yeah, yeah. makes it kind of silly. Well, it's playing into that idea of um, contrast and you know, momentum shifts. You've been you've been you've been going pretty quickly lately. A lot of shit's been going down, and it kind of culminated with that fight with Lonnie. And now it's like, okay, let's give him a moment to breathe and let things be a bit silly for a little while. So that way, the next time they're like, oh, everything's so bad, there's actual... Mm -hmm. You actually have something in your mind uh, to remind you of how bad it actually is. Instead of, instead of just squall up and like, ugh, to everything. He just didn't have any real fun bits. No. There were a few moments where um, Renoa would get uh, particularly animated, or Zell would choke to death on <clears> hot dogs, and everyone would have a good laugh, but... Guys, I'm really dying over here. Ha, ha, you finally got the hot dogs. I bet they're not all yeah. what you thought they'd be, huh? Now that you're dying from them. All right, so I gotta. Uh. Yeah, I know, I know. What? The fuck? <laughs> I don't know, but I think there are faces underneath that Uncle It thing. <laughs> Just abomination. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. It's a back attack. Uh, 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 <laughs> now, now it's worse. <laughs> turn around. Turn back around. <laughs> Quick, kill it. <laughs> that lip. <laughs> These things just walking around in the miners like, I fucking hate this job, Jesus Christ, oh! Probably down here. Ah, cool. Fuck this place. Oh! Fuck this place is right. Ah, oh, god damn <laughs> One it. more. Probably some abominations. Don't really good. I haven't got your number yet. <laughs> Uh -huh. Just right in the sleep, huh? 
They're asleep. They can't leave you. But they sleep forever. They're yours forever. <laughs> what? Lucky for Quinna, she, he can't sleep. <laughs> the screams keep me up! Just screams from inside its belly of all yeah. the things it's eaten. Fuck. Fuck Chocobo Hot and Cold. Even just that title, that, that title really works for a mobile game. Chocobo, Chocobo Hot, Hot and Cold. Cold, yeah. You kinda just get it, don't you? It rolls off the tongue, even if you don't even if you don't know what a chocobo is. There's something about that word that just rings in your ear and makes you, huh. Well, yeah, yeah, Pokemon Go proved that you don't need to know shit about Pokemon. Yeah. Because people were like, oh, this is a game besides Pokemon Go? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. You don't, you, where have you been forever? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, they just hopped on the fad train and were like, oh, this is cool. Like, you never once yeah. heard or saw the anime or anything or <laughs> ever heard of Pokemon. This is your very yeah. first time. Are you look at that! Kidding? Look at that bug fossil. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. There's even a couple of little swirly ones hanging. Oh out. yeah, look at that. This light, there's no mist here. Oh, the air doesn't yeah. have texture to it's it. It's like um, I was telling you earlier about uh, that movie, The Founder. Um, there's a bit right at the end. It doesn't really spoil the whole story, but basically, um, Nick Offerman's character asks um, Michael Keaton's character, like. You know, why, why didn't you just make your own restaurant using our system? You know, why did you franchise out with us? And he, he, the, Michael Keaton plays Roy Kroc, and he's like, you know what it was? It was that name, McDonald's. Mm. You know, Kroc. You can't name a restaurant Kroc. It has that Slavic bluntness to it, but McDonald's. Yeah. You hear that name, and it just... A man named McDonald's is a man that's not going to get pushed around. That's a name you can trust. Crocs. And we do eat at Crocs. <laughs> So Chocobo Hot and Cold is one of those yeah, things. It is. It just has that name. You hear it and you go, huh. And then people will just be like, I love Chocobos. I got a Chocobo tattoo. Oh, you yeah. like Final Fantasy? What? What's Final Fantasy? And then Final Fantasy 16 comes out and they'll be like, they really should have put it on a mobile platform. It's really <laughs> stupid that they're alienating, you know, everyone who likes yeah. Chocobo Hot and Cold by not putting this game on a phone for me. Yeah. It's like, fuck you, Pokemon Sun and Moon is not going to be on a mobile phone. I know. Ugh. I know. Oh, God. You know those people I was talking about last night who I don't particularly like hanging out with? Oh, sure. That was one of them. Oh, no! I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Imagine how cool it would be you're playing Pokemon Hot, uh, not Pokemon Hot and Cold, Chocobo Hot and Cold. <laughs> and you're just digging away in the spot as you normally would. And then suddenly there's like a crack and Chocobo's like, cork? And then the ground cracks beneath and they're like, que? And then it just collapses and they fall down and then you plummet yeah. down to a whole new area you can dig in. Yeah. And then like, your mobile buddy flies down and it's like, wow, I bet there are all kinds of treasures down here. And you're like, whoa! Where did you find this place, Koopo? Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, from here, turn right and go... I saw, like, a bridge with, like, Yeah, a... keep going that way. This thing... Yeah, there we go. Toward our old buddies that we haven't seen in a while. It's like, oh, your chocobo dug up a mage masher. And then that's the thing. You'd be digging up... Sometimes you would dig up really cool items like that. And it's like, cool, and... Your, your party is now level five. Yeah. It's like the it's like the party can't quite get past this area, and so it's kind of reliant on you to find better equipment for it, and then you can, or you can turn that equipment into gold that they can then use for stuff. And it's like, well, I found them plenty of iron swords; they're fine with that. And each each layer of each area would have different items. Like in this area, there's a five percent chance to get a major masher, but if you go down deep, that's a common item because you're later in the game at that point. So then there, so there'd be gill. Which is the in-game currency that you just find. Then yeah. there'd be like crystals, which is what you have to pay for. Yeah. God damn it, it's so easy to just seep the mobile poison in there. <sighs> Rally ho, we haven't seen you dwarves in a while. I think five was the last time. Yeah. Rally ho, Ursac or Greeton. Then they're Scottish for some reason. 
If you didn't say right, yeah, hold on. You can't enter the party. Whom to the dwarves? <laughs> now wait just a minute. This is stupid. You're all stupid. <laughs> Your tradition's dumb. <laughs> this is and I won't stupid. take any part of it. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, Vivi and the couple. Yeah, let's see yeah. what Vivi's up to. Creeping out some people. Thank you.